Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host. And on today's How To, we're going to be working with some traditional thread locking devices, but in challenging applications. So we're going to need help. And we've called on 19 year veteran Greg Garrison. He is with Loctite. Greg, great to have you in, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting us. It's always good to have a veteran here. First of all, I just love the fact that we got lots of glue and stuff on the set. So I know we're going to be working in uh, some challenging applications, as you say. So, but what kind of those fastener applications are you going to show? Us. Well, the first challenge we're going to talk about is keeping pre-existing fasteners from coming loose okay. without having to multiple retorque or going back out and taking it apart and putting the thread locker back on. Okay. Second application we're going to talk about is properly um, unitizing a fastener going into a blind hole. Okay. application. And that's one where there's no nut on the bottom. It just goes in and that's, that's it. That's right. So if you're looking right here, it's one that doesn't have an exit hole okay. going out of it. Okay. Before we get started though, you know, we got to mention that we should all wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. And uh, for this one, we have gloves. Uh, we right. don't need glasses because I know when you got gloves and you got glue, uh, your fingers won't you're be sticking business. together. Yeah, you are good to go. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit first about how these thread lockers actually work before we get started. Sure, Tom. First of all, all these begin as a liquid gel or semi-solid stick. Hinkle makes these products in different viscosities or thicknesses. Thicker liquid products usually can fill into larger gaps. Thinner products can flow into very small gaps. We also make them in different colors and strengths, so they're easy to identify. Blue for removable or red for permanent. Want to guess how these thread lockers actually cure? Um, I'm going to say air. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. They cure when you remove the air and you add the presence of metal. Okay, well, so how can we help out our viewers with pre-existing fasteners that are already in use? Hey, Tom, you ever put together a swing set before for kids? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have <laughs> quite a few. You put it together, what happens a couple of years after that with the fasteners? A couple of years, how about like two or three months? They get loose and you gotta right. tighten it and tighten it and tighten it. You hear that? Oh, you can actually hear the nut. Rattling yeah. there. Okay. So you put vibration into this. What do you think is going to actually happen? Are uh, they going to vibrate tight or are they going to come off? I think my kid's going to fall off the slide. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. That's right. Yeah. So why not, instead of going back out and retorquing these every single time, why don't attack it to where you can unitize it and not have it happen again? So you're saying there's an easier answer than retightening re -tightening or starting over, right? Right. Let's figure how we do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I, I have a fastener right here. Okay. Okay. And all I did is put it together to where it's going to stand up, right, like this. Okay. I'm going to take this product. What do you notice immediately when I squirt this on here, Tom? It doesn't remind me of a glue. It's very thin, very watery. Right. It's it's very it's it's that way because it's a wicking grade thread locker. What this product will actually do is. I'm going to take and put a little bit of this on the plate. We're going to set it right up in here. Okay. And what it's going to do, it's actually going to wick its way into the threads. Oh, wow. And it's like a penetrating oil, but instead of loosening the threads, we're actually unitizing this assembly. So it's wicking its way into the threads and it's going to unitize itself tight. Okay. Anywhere from about 10 to 20 minutes. But because I prime this one, it's going to knock it down to like one or two minutes. So are we going to leave this sit and then we're going to talk about the blind hole stuff you mentioned? That's right. Okay. A blind hole application is one where you're torquing a bolt into a hole without an exit. So the air in the hole has nowhere to get out. When people do this application, they're going to do it the way they traditionally would do it. They're just going to put some of this product on. Yeah, you put it on the threads, right? Like you normally would. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would do. Okay. And then they're going to go to torque it in. But because there's no exit, what do you see actually happening here, Tom? Oh, look, you can see it. It's coming out. Right. The, the, right. Yeah, there's no place else for it to go. That's right. Because there's no exit hole, it creates a hydraulic effect. So what do you think we need to do, Tom, to make sure that this will properly unitize itself tight? I, I do both. I, I would put some on the threads, but I'd also put some in the hole as well. That's right. So you'd actually put a couple of drops down the female threads here. Okay. And then you already have your product on the fastener itself. So now we're going to screw it Let's back in. There. If you notice while I tighten it now, that hydraulic effect is taking the drops from the hole and it's wicking around the fastener to unitize it. Hey, speaking of wicking, mm -hmm. let's take a look at that other fastener. Okay. Go ahead and pick it up, Tom. Okay. All right. 
All right, can you get it apart? I mean, no, this is just too tough. But it looks like it's actually inside there now. Right. So what it's done is it's actually unitized here. But take a look. It's actually unitized itself and wicked its way past the initial contact, too. You can actually see some of the green there actually coming out from the back side of that. So it actually pulled it or wicked right. all the way up to the top there. Right. Good stuff, man. Two great demos. Greg, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. that. That's Greg Garrison, 19-year veteran with Loctite. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch, and they'll be able to help you out. As you notice, we had on our PPE today. Want to be safe? Nothing sticky, so we are good to go. Remember, safety is always priority number one. Whatever the job calls for, make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. Number two, head to mihowto.com and check out other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host, and you can see great demos just like this one. Thanks for watching.